It's a little late. We landed a bit early, sir. You trust this guy, Major? I've never seen him. U.S. intelligence says he's a champion, what you might call a, a good German. Twenty-four twenty. Twenty-four twenty. What, Captain? He was trying to tell you something. Fear and Swansik. that Captain Ludwig was on the personal staff of Admiral Canaris and a pipeline into German naval intelligence. He was also a close personal friend of my father's before the war. Oh, maybe you two should have left him on the Admiral's staff. No, we couldn't do that. His information was too important. We had to try to get him out. Fear and Swansick. Swansick, 20. Mean anything to you, Clark? No. But I've passed it on to British and free French intelligence. They may have something for us when we get to London. Easy, Kirk. We can't leave without Shorty! Lieutenant, do you think you could back up and get us out of this? No, then. Our guy's got a great left hand. Let me go! Typical enlisted man's behavior, getting themselves killed in a bar fight over the questionable favors of some street hall. I could agree with you more, sir. Hear you right, Major? You, the champion of the underdog? Well, you know, a bum and a drunk in uniform is still a bum and a drunk, sir. Shorty! You okay? What are you guys doing? Give me a hand! Hold on there, man. Break it up! Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I want those men arrested. You want them arrested? Yeah, I'll bet a month's salary that they were in the guardhouse this morning. I just want to make sure they're back in the guardhouse tonight. You see Come that on, big guy? Got a hell of a right, too. Coming very Come handy on our next mission. Forgive me, General, but I think the Major's gone on one mission too many. <laughs> no, Colonel. Not yet. <laughs> Not just yet. In the viewpoint of the German High Command, the Japanese failed to follow up their victory at Pearl Harbor and are not now considered to be trustworthy allies. They are also aware that the Allied war effort is now totally dedicated to crushing Germany before turning to the Japanese. The High Command feels the war might go on for years and that Germany could still conceivably lose the war. Now, those generals were in no rush to share all this to the Fuhrer.
keeping themselves alive, sort of. Yes. Ultimately, they swallowed their junk of pride, and they took the word to this man. SS General Kurt Richter, a man whom Hitler has come to trust implicitly. They convinced Richter that it was his duty to inform the Fuhrer about the truth. He did so. But he also worked out an answer to the Fuhrer's next question. How does Germany ensure a final victory? Exactly. With Operation Valkyrie, the Fourth Reich, gentlemen, Richter had come up with a list of a dozen men, all top German geniuses in government, science, the military, police, education, all of them under 35, and all of them loyal Nazis. The existence of this new shadow government was confirmed by our contacts in the German naval intelligence. In the past few months, the German army surrounding Stalingrad has surrendered, and the U.S. Navy remains unbeatable in the Pacific. The Führer has made the decision. These 12 men are standing by to be summoned to Munich, Germany, at a moment's notice. From there, they will go on by train along the route of the now-suspended Orient Express. Venice, Trieste, Belgrade, Sofia, and finally, Istanbul. And there they will establish, over 10 years, 20, a century if necessary, all over the Middle East, the new Fourth Reich. You will take 12 general prisoners convicted and sentenced to death or to long terms of imprisonment. You will train and qualify the prisoners and deliver them secretly behind the lines. You will attack and destroy your assigned target. Any breach of security, any failure of discipline, and the prisoners go right back where they came from for a summary execution of sentence. Private stern alone. That's an order. You looking for another dirty dozen, Major? No, no, no. I'm just biding my time until I become general and get the war over. Now, right, what happened? Got into a fight with an officer in a bar. Hit him. Broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Oh, that's very shrewd. Now, what did he say to upset you? I got into a discussion about race. I told him he belonged on the other side. I see. So you wind up in a military prison again, and you're facing another court-martial. Now, look. You know, I'll give you a chance to beat this thing and get back to the war. What do you say? Do you want it or not? I don't know, Major. You get a lot of men killed. You kill a lot of good people. And I don't know anymore whether it's good versus evil with you. Maybe it's just evil versus evil. I'll find your keeper. Take a walk with me, Major. I've got some important information for you. Yes, sir. Nice morning, Lieutenant. Yes, yes, it is. You go for the general, huh? That's right. You've been with Major Wright before? That's right. And I made it back. War is over for me, Lieutenant. Well, I wouldn't say that the war is all together over for you. Hmm? Ain't war hell, Lieutenant? And when the Germans surrendered in 1918, the French brought him down to a railroad car in the forest of Compagnia. A little bit before my time, I'm afraid. <laughs> and when the French surrendered in 1940, Hitler ordered that same railroad car from the old Orient Express brought back to the exact same spot. Uh, so that the French could feel the bayonet this time, right? Exactly. Now, that car was number 2419, and it's in Berlin right now. Now, the, uh, the thinking is 
that those Germans will blow up that damn thing before they're ever surrendering it again. But how does, uh, uh after 2419 comes 2420? Auf Deutsch, 24. The founding fathers of the new Fourth Reich will arrive in Istanbul in car number 2420. Now, we know where this car is now? Lieutenant Campbell's come up with some new air recon photos that indicates they may be hidden in a train yard in Munich. Lieutenant Campbell apparently is a very bright young lady. Well, she's brilliant. You know, she grew up with this German aristocracy because her father was a foreign service officer for 30 years. Well, hell, Marshal Rommel used to bounce her on his knee. Before or after she turned 18? Now, now. <laughs> Dravko, death by hanging. D'Agostino, Carmine, death by hanging. Collins, Frederick, unsentenced. Ricketts, Tom, unsentenced. Hamilton, Joseph. Death by hanging. Half Thomas, 50 years hard labor. Wilson, Lonnie, 40 years hard labor. Echeverria, Roberto, 50 years hard labor. Get back in line. Major said there'd be one more. Well, maybe the Major was wrong. We don't have a dozen, then. Hey, 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 hey Stern! Pushing your luck, aren't you, Stern? All right. Hey. <laughs> Ye of such little faith. Stern Joseph. Unsentenced. Okay. You started off as a train engineer back home, Demchuk. You know, that talent may come in handy again. I was good engineer, sir. Uh huh. Yeah, but before you handed the train in at the end of the day, you started robbing passengers. I was a good train robber, too, sir. You want to rob a train, Major? Oh, no, no, no. I want to stop one and pick off some bad people. I pick off lots of bad people in my life. <laughs> I bet you have, Dravko. I just bet you have. All right, Hulk? Sergeant, I don't know, sir. We usually only get this when there's a hang. got a gun, right? That's right. Knocked out the MPs guarding it and pinned us down. We may have to kill that boy. Oh, that may take some doing. He killed a white woman. He's not getting anywhere. Now we got that armored truck back there, we'll blow him apart if he tries to get down. Now what are you gonna do, blow up a prison to kill a prisoner? Who's been talking to him? Talking to him? That's right, talking to him. Now you look. I'm gonna go up there and make a deal. And I'm also gonna make a promise. Make sure you don't break it. Do you understand? You got it. Hamilton? Hamilton, this is Major Wright. You know who I am, and I know who you are. Hamilton? I want to talk to you. 
I'm better off down right here and now. I'll have a lot of company. Now watch your Russian dying. You can't lose anything by talking. Okay. Come ahead, then. All right, I'm gonna lay it on the line with you, Hamilton. I can still use a man who can break out of a maximum security cell, get up there, and grab a machine gun. Almost made it all the way. As far as I know, you haven't killed an MP, and you're gonna hang anyway for a lot more than just an attempted escape. So what the hell do you want from me? Why'd you kill your wife? Just mind your own business. I met her in Paris. And the war came, and we made it to London. So I went back to the U.S. You know, to join the army. But I broke my butt to get back over here. Then I went to her apartment. She was living with an RAF captain. He pulled a gun and said, niggas ain't welcome in Britain. And then she laughed. She laughed. Why don't you put down your gun? Surrender and I promise you, you'll be training with the men in the morning. Army ain't gonna let you keep that promise. Oh, yes, they will. They need me, and I got news for you. They need you, too. Along with 11 other slobs just like you. OK. OK, how you want to work it? You point that 30 caliber downrange, and you follow me home. Presence, you've indicated a strong desire to volunteer for this mission, which leaves you three ways to go. You can foul up during training, in which case you'll be sent back to prison for execution of sentence. Two, I mean, you can foul up in action, in which case I will personally blow your brains out. Or you can do what you're told, in which case you may just get by. Now, if any one of you tries to escape, you'll all be sent back for execution of sentence. Therefore, you're all dependent on one another. And if anybody tries to get smart, you'll all get it right in the head, right? <laughs> right. Now, due to the contingency nature of this mission and the deteriorating relations between Private Hamilton and the staff and the MPs of Forbes Road Prison, you've been sent out here in the field. And the nature of your training has been intensified. Echeveria. <laughs> it's Chevaria, sir. <laughs> uh, pick up my grips and follow me. <laughs> All right, have them fall out, sent back to the barracks. Yes, sir. All right, everybody into the barracks. If you have something to complain about, the chaplain's hours are between four and five. Let's go. Hit it! It's Chevaria, you're a mystery to me. I went through your files. You've been through some pretty heavy stuff, robbery. Gangland kidnapping, assault with a deadly weapon. I had a very bad childhood, sir. Well, I figured something like that. But until you made that night withdrawal from the Bank of England with a 45 and a little dynamite, you haven't done any heavy time, have you? I always express sincere remorse, sir. Sure you do. Well, I mean, for roll officers, judges, even cops wanted to give you a break. <laughs> well, man, I mean, Major, I always figure when you're going for it, go all out. 
When you're in the streets, raise hell. But when they get you, they got you. Be nice. Will that be all, Major? That'll be all. We won't be here that long. Oh, glad to be of service, sir. Yeah. Maria. My trench knife. Second time around, they hang you. <laughs> Can't change overnight, Major. Neither can I. Take off. <laughs> yes, sir. This is evil, I guess. says that even now, this officer is training another group, drawn from American prisoners, sentenced to death, or long terms of imprisonment. The whole story seems a little incredible, General. Are you sure you're not wasting money on this, uh, this informant? It is the opinion of our senior agent in Ireland that the story is absolutely true. Well, then maybe you're right. The whole country worships outlaws and gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> now they've drafted them into the army, I suppose. I have made arrangements to receive further reports from this informant. And we will supply all necessary technical equipment needed for transmission in the future. How much is that? One moment, please. The Reich Chancellor, General. General Richter? Yes, mein Führer. No, mein Führer, it will not be a problem. We shall be in Istanbul on September the 3rd. Yes, mein Führer. Thank you. If there is nothing further, gentlemen. And you honestly believe that this man can take a bunch of misfits, murderers, and common thieves, and turn them into a cohesive fighting machine? Oh, it is not an entirely original concept, gentlemen. A legion of the damned. Ordinarily, I'd be the first man out. But since this is our maiden voyage, Sergeant Holt will do the honors. What's the matter, Monius? You seem a little tense. I signed up to kill Germans, not jump out of planes. Wrong. You would do to go down one way or another, either six foot at the end of a rope or 6,000 feet from an airplane. Look, you got yourself a good deal. I'll let you know when I got a good deal, Major. <laughs> now, ordinarily, you'd have several days for preparation, and your first jump would have been in the daytime. But there is no time. Your next jump now will be at night and into Yugoslavia. 
Attach your cables. Good luck. Go! Dagostino? What the hell's wrong with you, Dagostino? I can't jump, Major. I've never been any good at heights. I can't do it. Well, it's a hell of a time to tell somebody, soldier. Get up there and jump. No, Major. I can't. I'll get killed. I know it. Do you want everybody to know that the Hotshot Syndicate hitman has a yellow streak a mile long? I can't jump, Major. You're so cool. You even offered them a last drag from your own cigarette just before you blew their brains out. You want a cigarette? Jump, you bum. I gotta go. I'll freeze my leg. Come on, let's get going. Move it or milk it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Way to see Europe again, right, Hoppin? <laughs> hey, Major, I'm an all-American boy. My parents just traveled around a lot. here, along with his parachute. You think this is more than a routine training accident, Major? I know now, Lieutenant, that it was no accident. The chute line on Hoffman's parachute was cut. He jumped out of that plane with a jump ring in perfect position, and the chute still didn't open. I thought the men packed their own chutes. No, you're talking about paratroopers, Lieutenant. My men are thieves and murderers. These are pre-folded and put on an airplane by jump instructors. Anybody could have got to Hoffman's even helped him on with it. You said it yourself, Major. You've got thieves and murderers, so one of them found a reason to kill another one. Is that a reason for getting me out here in the middle of the night? No, my reason is Hoffman, who's one of my men. And he was very important. He spoke German. He traveled in Europe for years, and he was familiar with Yugoslavia, which would have been a great help to me. So you're saying you need time to find a replacement? There is no time, Colonel. The Nazis are going to move those people. Major, you say that Hoffman spent years in Europe picking up languages. He knew the Balkans. I grew up in Europe. I speak many European languages, and I spent six summers in the Balkans and Yugoslavia. Apparently, for whatever reason, Lieutenant, you want to go on this mission. Let me point something out to you. Now, for the rest of the training and behind enemy lines, your life will totally depend on men who've committed every crime in the book, including rape and murder. Now, do you still want to go? Campbell. She'll be with us for the rest of the training, and she'll also jump with us into Europe. I keep in mind that she's an officer, and any order she gives will be obeyed immediately. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir! sir! Even if she wants to take advantage of us, sir? <laughs> All right, Sergeant, hit the switch. Yes, sir. Name? Kranz, Wolfgang. Importance to the party? Social planner and administrator. Created the camps at Dachau and Belsen. Very good, Stern. Name? Ulrich. Brunner, lieutenant. Importance to the party? Some kind of banker, isn't he? Yes, a principal young financial advisor to the Reich Minister, Albert Speer. Stiel, Helmut. Physical culture, profit, 
directs a sexual revolutionary program supposedly aimed at impregnating all young women throughout the Greater Reich. Yeah? <laughs> How do you like this guy, Lieutenant? I think we'll have to cut his career short. <laughs> <laughs> now remember those faces. They won't always be wearing dress uniforms and swastika armbands. They may be in civilian clothes or dressed as medical workers or orthodox priests. Hey, Major, how come it has to be 12? Suppose we know to get you 10 or 11. Yeah, why not? No good. That one that's left on that train may be the heir apparent to Adolf Hitler, the next Fuhrer. Hit the switch, Sergeant. The next is a captured German film on the occupation of Yugoslavia. You'll notice that all the, uh... The... <laughs> now, who the hell smuggled a blue film into a maximum security prison? Major, Major, I had nothing to do with this. It's a bum rap. No, of course not. I believe I've already had this course in training. I'll be outside if you need me. Shall I let it continue, sir? Yeah. Might as well see how the other half lives. Yeah. Get this out of the mess hall. The guards have got 45s and machine guns. Did you forget about that? We get the major first. He's got a 45 carbine, lots of ammo. Then we get the guard at the barracks and we get his BAR. We grab one of the trucks and we disable all the others. Where'd we go from here? West Coast. Ireland's neutral. We grab a boat, we get to Ireland, we pull a few jobs, get a stake. Hey, that's a great idea. Are you crazy? You're right. It's a lousy idea. Who sticks the major? I thought you'd do that, Diagostino. I kicked you out of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the knife. <laughs> Are you nuts? You get all three of us killed and then crucify the others, too. What'd you come out here for, Because Danny? you asked us. And we wanted to see how many other men were crazy. Yeah, that's right. We ain't that crazy. <laughs> your bugs and don't get any more bright ideas. Good night, Major. Here you go, champ. Here you go, buddy. Now just remember, if this was the real thing and you moved too soon, you'd be spotted by the engineers or the German passengers inside the cars. They'd stop the train and just scoop us up and we never get near anybody we want to get on it. Take positions. Wait a minute. 
All right. You did a good job. And I'm reasonably happy with your work. This truck here, half full of booze. Fall out. Collins, echo Maria. Drop the tailgate. And uh, careful with the cargo. I assume you can handle all of that. Uh, girls, your prime minister is looking forward to decorating each and every one of you individually, okay? So hurry it up. Good looking. about it in the morning, baby, okay? Baby, I haven't danced since grad night. Come on. I'm on the Agostino. Major appears to have some kind of unusual night maneuver in progress. Yes, sir. I believe he referred to it as improving relations with our allies. Indeed. <laughs> Colonel, well, I didn't expect to see you out in the field, so to speak. I can see that. No, thank you. You realize this little orgy could get you court-martialed? These are sentenced prisoners convicted of capital crimes. They're also ready for battle, Colonel. Come on, give them a break. Major, if you could bear to tear yourself away, the general is waiting for you down the road. Oh, did he want to join the party? Collins! Get lucky, soldier. You want to see me, Major? I've got a problem, sir. We have several. We have two reports, one from inside Yugoslavia indicating suddenly increased security in all the major cities. Well, you picked Yugoslavia because it's on the main Orient Express route. That's right, and the partisans are expecting you. But the second report is that the Nazis are beginning to learn about you personally and what you do. Well, I'm not surprised. What the hell are you talking about? General, I asked you here because I believe there's a traitor in our group. Do you know who he is? No, not yet. But he got to Hoffman's parachute and he would have been invaluable to me in Yugoslavia. I went through the folders, and there's no way that Hoffman could have met any of these men before coming to the military prison. Now the Germans ordered the killing. But how could the Nazis possibly have known who you were going to pick for the mission? They couldn't. Obviously, I missed somebody. He got in touch with the Germans after I assigned him to the mission. You know there's a blue film smuggled into the camp? And if you can smuggle a blue film in, you certainly can smuggle a message out. Then we have to abort the mission. How do we do that, Clark? The heirs apparent to the Third Reich leave Munich tonight. They'll arrive in Istanbul in three days. <laughs> That's some party. Why don't you join us? If I join that party, I'm afraid I'd lose my bars. How long have you been an officer, Lieutenant Campbell? Five months. I was given a direct commission because I have certain skills and education. <laughs> Over and above what's needed there. You're just like the rest of the dirty dozen. Yeah. We all got certain skills and education, too. You know, it's ironic. Those men committed crimes. They were put in prison. And they got this mission. 
I would have been willing to give everything I have. Maybe my life. I'm sorry. No, don't stop now. My dad is a foreign service officer. He married a Norwegian woman when he was stationed in Oslo. When the Nazis hit Norway, my mother had gone home to get her family out. She died in the first bombing raid. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Now, we can try an airstrike at the train in open country, but we can't be sure they'd get all 12. And then we could give this to British intelligence at Alexandria. Hey, wait a minute. How about my men? I mean, they've been working damn hard and they're ready to go. My staff is right. You really do become one of them. They'd have to go back to prison. Now, wait a minute, General. If you send these men back to do time and die, you're going to have a riot on your hands. And you may be right. I might be fighting on their side. What the hell do you want, Major? You've got a traitor in your group and you don't know who it is. I don't know who it is, but somewhere down the line I'll find out who it is to get rid of them. Besides blowing up the Nazis or... or die trying. And that's the name of the game when it comes to the Dirty Dozen. Besides, drinking and whoring and falling down. And one of them is a traitor. Light at any moment. Let's see. Coordinates 413-52794, is that right? Well, of course, sir. Any problem? No, 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 no problem. Except we're not gonna jump there. Yes, I want you to change course five degrees south of Scorpia and bypass the jump area by some 20 miles. Have you got that? This is all very irregular, sir. You're breaking the plan. Well, my whole group is irregular, gentlemen. That's part of their charm. I'm afraid we'll have to report it to our CO. I don't care how many reports you make, Captain. Just as long as the new coordinates are 4131 2795. Have you got that? Hey, what the hell's going on here? We're changing directions. Major, if we don't jump where we plan, how will we link up with the resistance? Now you let me worry about that. I've got an address in Skopje. You and I will find it, Demchuk. They are running late, Vasco. They'll be here. My sister is here. Get back to Scorpia. You have to get out of here in any case. Whatever happens, I need one prisoner for interrogation. We'll take those six. You men surrender! your prisoner for interrogation, Captain. Keep him alive.
Don't look down, sir. Look at them as if you hate them, and they will be sure you are Yugoslav. Yes. Eris is the god of war. And we are all his children. Come in. Stand still. Take their guns. Oh, now, what the hell is this? Keep quiet. Peter, check the ammunition. U.S. Army, standard issue. 45 caliber ammunition. Brand new. Who are you looking for? I already gave you the password. The password could have been tortured out of men who then had their tongues torn out. Who are you looking for? A partisan leader. Initials YV. I am Yelena Vaskovich. No one else knew that you had only my initials. What happened last night? Hey, look, I can talk a lot better without that cannon pointing at my head. Please. I'm sorry. I understand. I ordered an overflight over the landing area. I just had a hunch that maybe the Germans were there waiting for us. No parts that would give you to the Germans. I didn't say that. Okay, we had orders that, for whatever reason, we didn't make any contact, we were to come here. So here we are. The men that were supposed to meet you did not come back. We have heard no word all night from them. It is best to assume they were taken. One of them was my brother. If they were lucky, they had a chance to fight. Look, can we get a message to the British submarine off the coast? Yes, of course. Tell them we made it. Eagle 4 to Line 1. Eagle 4 to Line 1. Can you read me? Yes, this is Line 1. Go ahead, please. This is Eagle 4, encrypt 71879. Close encrypt 1927-24. The visitors have arrived. Very good. I have a message from Overlord in London. Can you get out of Skopje at once? They must be reacting to your decision to overfly the landing site. Tell me what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. We're on our way. Affirmative. Very good. Clear. Look. I'm sorry your brother came to meet us last night. My brother, God willing, is dead. lost consciousness again. Yes, I can see that. I ask you to find out where Major Wright will attack the train, and after hours of interrogation, you have no results. Forgive me, General, but would it not be better to hold up the train or take another route? And what explanation am I supposed to give the Fuhrer? That I cannot save his men from a renegade Major and 12 common criminals? Where do you want to hit that train? Well, this is the plan I brief my men on. We go through open country, and we meet the train here, near Nish. There's an overpass about 20 miles north of the Bulgarian border, near Piro. The train slows down there because of a grade. And I've trained my men to jump on these moving cars from the overpass to take out these Nazi hotshots. And I'll explain it to my men. If they have any problems, I'll let you know. Uh, what can I do for you, Stern? The men are a little confused, Major. Oh, a little scared, maybe? Well, a lot of things have been happening and don't quite add up. First, Hoffman jumps out of the plane and bounces. Hoffman was killed in a training accident. Only you grabbed the body in the chute and got him out of there. Yeah, then we don't jump where we're supposed to. We don't go into Skopje. We wind up in the hills. Hey, if you wanted to jump down there with the Germans and walk in Skopje, you'd be my guest, Joe. What the hell's going on, Major? All right. You're entitled to know. There's a ringer in the dirty dozen this time. A 
That's right. Something rotten. A Judas who's selling us all out. Couldn't it be one of the Yugoslavians? No, the Yugoslavs didn't slice off in the shoot line. It's one of us. Closer to home. Yes? Don't worry, General. General Richter. Give me the coordinates. Notify Oberkommando Berlin immediately. No, never mind. I will make the call myself. They attacked here less than an hour ago. But, sir, our information was that they would go on to Nish. That's right. Major Wright did not parachute in where we expected him. He didn't attack where we expected him. I doubt very much if he'll attack the train where we expect him. Get a plane ready to leave in 15 minutes and file a flight information for Sofia. Dead, sir. Yes, I can see that, Captain. Changing his mind, I guess. You know what I've been thinking? I got no idea. I've never had a lieutenant before. You're taking the body to Pirot for burial and returning today. Was last wish of deceased. Your papers seem to be in order. Wait a minute. What village are you from? Kumanovo, sir. Just a few miles from here. I know where the damn village is. How many partisans are hiding there waiting to murder German soldiers? None, sir, that I know. Lying. Damn Macedonians. Good morning. How are you? For a dear departed soul. Yes. Na schön. You could almost be German. Nordic. Hmm? Pure. Danke, Herr Leutpunkt. You're in this country of Schwein. Open the coffin. I want to see if you're smuggling anything across the border besides the dead. Sir, it was closed after holy service. In this life, there then is... Then I will open it, yeah? Phone in there. 
Belgrade is trying to call back, they must have got through. All right, we'll be out of here in five minutes. And it'll be dark in a half hour. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Look, I got Munoz's dog tags. If anything should happen to me, I want you to get those tags back if you can. Yes, sir. Now, we're supposed to attack the train on the border. Well, I just told you other night. The real target, east of Sofia. So, my last year in school, I was either going to get married or try for the Foreign Service. Must have been a hell of a tough decision. Don't laugh. I might have been a very good wife. And or a reasonably bright Foreign Service officer. Might have been. Can't you still be? I don't think that far ahead in the future, Joe. Not anymore. What about you? No post-war plans? I've been in the war a long time. No other way to go? No. I don't know of one, anyway. Well, that's not altogether true. It's just that sometimes I want to give every Jew in the world an automatic weapon and say, hold on to this. You're going to need it just to stay alive in this century. And other times, I think, my God, there must be some time when uh, I don't have to kill just to stay alive. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. What's the latest, Colonel? We have an underground report from Belgrade. There was no attack on the train last night, and it crossed into Bulgaria roughly an hour ago. What about the English submarine force out here in the Adriatic? No word since the last communication from Skopje. The assumption is the Germans have seized the apartment and destroyed the communications equipment. Well, maybe he's just afraid to use it until uh, he finds out who's on his side. General, that train is one half day's journey from the Turkish border. The moment it crosses the border, any attack upon it is an act of war on Turkey. What the hell do you want from me, Clark? I'm sure Wright will attack when he sees there's some chance to succeed. General, I've taken the liberty of alerting the 12th Fighter Command at Alexandria. But I thought we ruled out planes, because we couldn't be sure of hitting 12 men in one railroad car from the air. You have an estimate? They could scramble and attack the train at 1,200 hours today whilst it's still in Bulgaria, with a very good chance of complete success. Mm. And if the 12th fighter group attacks the same time that the Major and his people do, we won't have to worry about the Germans killing off all the dirty dozen. We'll blow them up ourselves. If that happens, it's war, and it can't be helped. You know, Clark, you're a hell of a good officer, but you are a bastard. Now, what's the last moment they can go in from Alexandria? Oh, 0900 hours, sir. We'll wait. General, any delay now? I said we'll wait. At 0900 hours, if we haven't heard from him, Major Wright and his command will be considered lost in action. 
and we'll go to an alternative solution. Sergeant Holt seems surprised that you changed the plans again. Yes. Something different from what the men expected, right? From the first moment you came to my apartment, I knew that something was wrong. My men are dying, too. Isn't it time that you tell me more? It's time I told you that all the information I give to my men is transmitted right to the Germans, probably by a high-powered mini-transmitter. Well, then you have to find the traitor and kill him. Well, I gotta be very careful. And if I shake up the men too much now, they could turn on each other blindly. You know, he'll make a wrong move and I'll nail him. God help us. Never seen a bridge before, huh? Oh, uh, sorry, sir. He almost never leaves the farm. You have any papers, dummy? Time. Well, you could say that. Good morning, gentlemen. As you know, we are within a few hours of the Turkish border and within the confines of our esteemed Axis ally, Bulgaria. Will you be joining us for the rest of the trip, General? I regret I have one last mission to attend to, but I shall see you all in Istanbul tonight. Let me impress upon you the need for continued security, but I assure you, the Führer's commands will be fulfilled. Uh, speaking of the Führer's commands, General Rector, I have here a letter delivered to me in Munich Signed by Adolf Hitler in Berlin three days ago. The reason I have not mentioned it before is because I felt we were still in grave danger. Security is essential. Gentlemen, the Thousand Year Reich is in our hands. In train car 2420. 
I send my heartfelt good wishes to all those involved in this great and needed enterprise. I salute those who will spread the seeds of greater Germany throughout the world. Whatever happens to me, our final victory remains inevitable. Accordingly, I now designate as my successor and as the leader of the Fourth Reich, Major General of the Waffen SS, Karl Richter. Signed, Adolf Hitler. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Enemy, sir. They are gone. Good job. Damn good job. 
All right, let's see what we got. Must be almost a full dozen of them there, Major. What do you think? You know the mission. Don't shoot! We surrender! Hold it. We're taking prisoners. We may need them later. Those are the bastards who started all this. That's an order, Stern. Throw out your weapons. Nazis are back there, Dravkov. Could be our ticket home. They're really dead. Where can we go? Lieutenant Campbell and I, we found a spread line on the map right down to the Aegean, cut through the tip of Greece. Yeah, and I'll contact the British stuff in the area. Who knows? A hundred miles ahead, and we might make it. Pitro, Pitro, Pitro! Pitro, Karebre, Kare! Decide to go to the other side for good, D'Agostino? What can I say, Major? How did you guess? Nothing to say and nothing to do, but I'm curious. When Wilson decided to escape, you pretended to side with him. Why? talking about Ireland. I was already talking to the German consulate there. So you would have killed the three of them and brought me their heads. If it got to be necessary, I had to deliver the whole group. Only Colin saved me the trouble. So, the high drama about you being afraid to jump out of the airplane just to cover up the fact that you sliced Hoffman's shoot, right? Major, I grew up hanging out the window of a 15-floor tenement. You don't tell me you're a native-born fascist, Carmine. You did it for the money, right? Hey, Major, money. Lots of money. That's what makes the world go round. 
<laughs> See you in hell. See you in hell. Right. Tank full of gas. You mean leave it in front of us? Couple it on, and we'll push it all the way to Greece. All right. All right. Oh, all right. You Let's go. Come on, Mr. Ich wollte Papiere finden und untersuchen. Und bringen Sie mir die Rauf hinterher. Los, zweimal die Strecke absichern. Wir nach Süden. Ja. Etwas der Beeilung, meine Herren. We begin immediate overflights so the train as it moves south. But surely they cannot take the train to the Turkish border, sir. Let's find the train first, Captain. Then we shall decide exactly where it's going. Make sure that none of the planes fire on the train at this moment. But how else can they stop them? I'll stop them. We don't know how many of our people are still alive. They have tremendous value to this major right as hostages. You will be aware of that. to line one, come in, please. Eagle four to line one, come in, please. We may be too far away. I don't know if they can pick us up anymore. Eagle four to line one, come in, please. Line one to Eagle four. Are you there? Yes, we are here. Encrypt 71879. Close Encrypt 192724. Give them these coordinates first. Tell him I want a rendezvous on the second set of coordinates at 10.30. We are proceeding south, passing at 4.123.2179. Can you arrange a rendezvous with us at 4.128.2185? It will take some doing, but we'll try to have one of our subs there. What is your ETA? 10.30 hours. Very good. Cheerio. Good job, Yelena. You know, with any luck, I'll be able to buy you a drink in London next week. It would be nice to have a drink in London. I haven't been there since my honeymoon. Oh? Seems like a thousand years ago. How long ago was it? Seven years. And your husband? Killed by the Germans in the first week of the war. Well, how about the rest of your family? Some of them are dead. Some I don't know if they're living or dead. My brother, well, you know what must have happened to my brother. Yes, I know. Well, look, why don't you come with us? I mean, they got a Yugoslav government in exile in London. You know, they'll put you to work, and then you can come back here after the war. When you say it, Major, I believe it. You better believe it. Yeah. Don't worry. Look what happened to him. <laughs> Major Beria? Major. How are you doing, Joe? Not 
I had my choice between touring the Balkans with you, Major, or running a nightclub in Paris, call me Mr. Showbiz. Hmm. Yeah, you'll be all right. All right. Contact the commanding officer of the 12th at Alexandria. Tell him to execute an immediate attack on that train. Tell him to take it out completely. Kill anything in sight. Very good, sir. Um, General, as you know, I haven't been a great admirer of Major Wright, but I'm sure he and his men had a damn good try. Well, that's damn nice of you, Colonel. But time is... Excuse me, General. We've just received word from the British submarine Lion 1. Major Wright has attacked the train just outside of Sofia, Bulgaria, and is on his way to the Aegean. Oh, hey! <laughs> All right! There may be 12 high-ranking party members or government officials upon that train. Yes, General. If I call for a ceasefire and negotiations, you will take no further actions until I give the command. I am the French General. The prime concern, of course, is to rescue our men. The second concern is to make sure that none of these damned Americans leave here alive. Spread the word. Get everybody off the train. Go ahead, move it. What about the Nazis in 2420? If they wanted the train, we're going to give it all. Come on, fire! 
Papa's always telling you to take it easy, Shorty. All right, Sergeant. The Germans will have reinforcements here in 15 minutes. Let's get out of here and link up with the sub. I'm not going with you. I can't. What are you talking about? I mean, there's nothing for you back there. Oh, yes, there is. Every reason that I gave you to go is also a reason to stay. My husband, my brother, my whole family, my comrades. My life is here, always. Where would you go? Back to Yugoslavia to join Tito's partisans. You will come back. Tell me that you will come back. Damn right. Let's move it out. Let's go, soldier. 